Hey guys, crew of Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. And Aaron. We're doing the honest trailer for Civil War. Oh, I remember that movie. Yeah. Do you? Yes. Not my first viewing, but I certainly remember like the 20 that followed. Okay. I've okay. watched it a lot to make up for my first viewing. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you can go to our review where uh, I think like the night before or something like that, I went... I stayed up all night or something like that. Yeah. I was working on some project, and I ended up falling asleep in the middle of the war. Ruin my, story. Ruin my Greek geek cred a little bit there. It's a Greek yeah. cred. Before we start the honest trailer, make sure you guys are going over to Screen Junkies. Checking yes. out the video there. Subscribe. They have that Screen Junkies Plus thing. Do all that good stuff, and then uh, come back and check it out with us. With Civil War, like, I... It's impossible not to compare it to BVS. Yeah. Because it came out at the same time, and it kind of has the same themes and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, it's the versus thing again. So, I bet you $100 on a show that we'll talk about it. You think? Screen Junkies. Definitely, right? They have to. Probably. I mean, honestly, like, I enjoyed Civil War a lot. I really can't think of a lot of things that I have, like, issues with, you know? And I know, honestly, there's a few movies where they're like... It's a good movie. Yeah. We're going to nitpick, you know? Like, I mean, it's the Russo Brothers, and we know that the Russo Brothers mm. try to make honest trailer-free movies, yeah. you know? That's a good goal to do. It's a pretty good goal. I would say so as well. Um, in terms of a problem with it, I can't think of anything either. Yeah. Not right offhand, but I'm interested to see what they say. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I say we just get right into it, then. Mm -hmm. Let's watch it! Boom! Me, me, you, me. Which coward? Ah! You're welcome. You've seen them fight as hero versus hero. You've seen them fight as friend versus friend. Now, Hello, the friend. greatest threat to the Avengers is... It's gonna be themselves again, isn't it? <laughs> yep, that's what happens when your villains kinda suck. Captain that's, America. They can't go after that, Civil yeah. War. Loosely based on the comic book oh, crossover that. event. They did that in the movie. The yeah! That has your favorite heroes asking... Is it better to be dickishly stubborn? If I see a situation point Or stubbornly dickish. You can't ignore it. Or stubbornly dickish. <laughs> Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. In a film that settles a moral and political debate, the only way superheroes know how, by beating the crap out of each other. Yeah. yeah. Take that, regulatory oversight. The government <laughs> wants to rain right. in the Avengers for when they recklessly save the entire world from aliens. That other time when they save the entire world from a secret Nazi death cult. And again, save the entire world from Ultra. the army of murder robots they created. Okay, that one is on there. Yeah. Ultra. Ultra. Now, Captain America must get in line or face the prospect of an all-out civil war. Or at least one group sparring session. You're pulling your punches. One real fight. <laughs> and a nice little that reminder is that everything is still hunky-dory. Tell me, if you need me, I'll be there. What? You thought there'd be lasting stakes? Come on, this is Marvel we're talking about. Cap is back, and he's still a total beefcake. Leading a team of rebels alongside his quippy black best friend. Because you don't have to go Mark Furman on my ass. Hawkeye, who's great in small doses. And man yeah. there. Scarlet Witch, who's still doing vague hand yeah. stuff, and yeah. Bucky, the man whose haircut was frozen in the 90s, opposing this team he Iron was. Man, his quippy black best friend. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> this, is, this is Tony Stank. Black Widow, who's still scissoring anyone she can get her legs around. Oh, yeah, she is. Good. Keep doing Black Panther, the king of giving monologues into the middle distance. Yeah. <laughs> he does do that. Manta passed. Warrior to warrior. So, so sad. I can have one of them. <laughs> What's he looking at? <laughs> Whatever he the hell vision is. Vision! No, I don't know what this is. Yeah, neither do we, buddy. And the best version of Spider Man, complete with a pre murdered Uncle Ben. Hey, pre uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Peter. Tony. Wait. If Tony gives him the great power of great responsibility speech, <clears throat> I am so out of here. Real as these former friends become enemies thanks to the evil Zemo. A man out for revenge by framing the Winter Soldier for the murder of King T'Chaka, which will... Uh, hold on, I forgot. Can we roll Zemo's plan again? Oh, uh, like their Lex Luthor uh, one? Yeah. I remember this. car? Really? Stealing a book? Okay. Hopefully, around this time. <laughs> around that same time? Okay, that makes sense. Go to homie There's no bus. way he knew those guys were going to show up. Wait, so he called a maid from Russia? 
Ah, the old Catcher Dome Purpose Boy. Someone's been reading Loki's plan. Ugh, this is dumber than Luther's. <laughs> Not great plan. Uh, can play the airport scene again? Yeah! Oh, that's so good. That's so cool. He was like the size of an ant. Now he's a giant. Experience of film. That's that was cool. That's just though. mindless action. Yeah. It's also about love. Watch Tony Stark deal with a heartbreak of dating someone whose contract expired after Iron Man 3. We're taking a break. The weird yeah, flirtation yeah. Back. this weird British Christmas robot and this weird Christmas robot. The friend hole. The friend hole. And the greatest <laughs> love story of all. As Steve uh, Rogers once again pines for the plums of the man that he and Tumblr really Oh shit! Oh man, fucking fan art. Watch Killer Caveman for the second movie in a row. I don't know how to work on this, Steve. While ignoring two perfectly good boyfriends who are right there in front of his face. He needs you, Kim. And now he has to go on the Kim. run before he can seal a deal with Peggy Carter's niece? 90 years old and this guy is still a virgin? Someone <laughs> please have sex with Captain America already. Hell, you know what? I'll do it. I'll bend over right now. So go enjoy the hero versus hero <laughs> movie that everyone loved instead of the hero versus hero movie that most everyone hated. Even though they're a lot more similar than anyone They're very admit, similar. Featuring a non-superpowered villain. Tricking a symbol of America into fighting a billionaire playboy yeah. using an incoherent plan that includes blowing up a meeting of government officials and using the hero's moms to manipulate them. Wow. Save He killed That ends with an ominous warning from a prison cell and sets up a universe worth of spin-offs along the way. Yeah. Uh-oh. Cue the airport scene again. Oh, come on. Oh. I thought it was a water truck. <laughs> Barnes and Noble, Robert Downey Jr. Jr. Oh yeah. yeah. Lissandra. Awesome. Lissandra. Awesome. Oh. Put a bird on it. <laughs> Walkie Road. The spectacular Sony Man. To Hala. Boom Raider. Another blue Marvel villain. You know, cause he's sad. Ryan Fantanta. <laughs> and giant <laughs> location. Header. Oh, I love so, yeah. Sienna. Queens. Queens. 1991, oh, Cleveland. Wait, there's no reason to get that excited about Cleveland. <laughs> Dang. America 3, okay. Avengers 2.5. Boy, that escalated quickly. There's a lot of tags. Mm -hmm. That's you, right? So how did Tony know that Peter Parker was Spider-Man? Did he just break into every teenage boy's bedroom in New York until he got lucky? Oh, wait, hang on. That sounded really bad. Until he got a little scene in, in action. Now, this? learn what his team what really the? thinks what of it. This? Steve has opened my hole so much Thor can use it as a portal to Asgard. Is this a roast? Oh, this must be their Screen yeah, Junkies Plus. That's the guy who really knows how to fuck you. Just ask Jack Kirby. Holy oh, shit. Can't wait for the next move when you try to do that head scissor thing to Thanos and he just throws you into the fucking sun. <laughs> Everything is dead that you love. <laughs> Angry oh, that's funny. That's awesome. Now, look at me. I'm the captain now. Oh, Does that's funny. Have any orange I'm gonna have to try to check that out. That's pretty cool. We gotta get Screen Junkies Plus, man. Go get. Apparently, they have awesome shit like that. That's neat. I like okay. that. I never thought of that. Idea. I know they have cool. like a Kevin Smith yeah. show where he like opens toys or something. Oh, really? Yeah. That's him and cool. him and Muse, I think, do it. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Jane Silent Bob just yeah. sitting there opening stuff. So I'll have to go check that out. That sounds like a lot of fun. Man, that was that was good. Like, they didn't go after it at all, really. They just had fun, and mm -hmm. they're right with a lot of the stuff. I didn't realize how close uh, BVS and Civil War were, really, with their storyline. Like, they, they had the same beats and stuff as they... I mean, I don't want to compare them, because I don't want to get attacked by DC fanboys. I just, I enjoy Civil War more, you know? Yeah, I did, too. I just did. Um, I love the Brian Fant Anta because his character in Anchorman is Brian Fantana. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, Paul so, Rudd's character. Yeah, is? so Brian Fan Anta. That oh, was okay. See, I didn't get that. It went over yeah. my head. I never watched. And it. And then, uh, what was the other one that made me laugh? Oh, Rocky Rocky Road. Is that what Wa it was? Walkie Road. Walkie Road. Walkie Road. Oh, I was like, oh man, that's funny. Yeah, because he got yeah. He got like his spine. Yeah, from that right? crash. Yeah. Like, he got hit by Vision saying, then crashed yeah, into the ground. Trying, he, yeah, they put, like, an exoskeleton on him to have him walk again. Yeah, they're working. Hopefully he gets better. I imagine, like, he could probably still wear his armor, couldn't he? Probably. I mean, if Tony can design autonomous robots, he could probably design one that responds to your brain, right? It already does, kind of. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. Um, anyway, no, that was good. That was really funny. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that. 
thing, whatever. The one similarity between the two movies that I didn't really catch is the mom thing. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, that's... True, the Martha and he, then the, the killing his parents He killed stuff. my mom, yeah. That was so heartbreaking in that. I mean, the Martha thing, like... It, it was set up so weird, too. Like, yeah. I was like... It kept showing about, like, the car and all this stuff. And I yeah. never, like, thought about it. And then, like, it got to the end, like, oh, you know? Yeah. Like, when he got to the end, that's when I realized. I don't think I... I might have realized beforehand. I yeah. can't remember. But I remember being like, oh, it's yeah. set up really well. I liked it. Like, I've said before that I actually like the Martha idea on paper. I just don't think the guy would call his, you know, mom Martha. Like, say my mom, you know? But I also get that, like, he doesn't know who his mom is. He has to say the name. I get that. True. I mean, even Tony's like, you killed my mom. He's like, you killed Yeah, but, Jennifer. like, the, the way Robert Diane Jr. says it, though, is like, he killed my mom. Like, it's so sad. You know, like I care, I feel for that character. Why Superman and Batman? I'm like, I, I'm seeing the idea more than I'm seeing the character have an idea. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I like the idea of like an, an evil villain, like taking a symbol and fighting him against like a billionaire. Like, yeah. hey, th- they did that. Yeah. Yeah, they did, they did that. do that. That's right. Yeah. It was um, good. It was. good. I enjoyed the honest trailer a lot. They covered uh the. Uh, I don't think they could say anything about the airport scene. They're like, go to the airport scene! There's nothing to say. No, that was such a good scene. There's nothing bad to say. <laughs> Every th- the only thing that annoyed me was that Spider-Man said that Empire Strikes Back was an old movie. You know that really old movie? When the, you know? And the characters are annoyed. Like, how old is this kid? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it, was, it was funny. It worked out But, like, well. it's so good. It's, it's done so well. Does Captain America know what that is? Yeah, he, did remember, he watch his, remember whenever he, he came he had back, he had to listen, it said Star Wars. So he's caught up? Because they did an honest trailer, and they were like, man, Nick Fury must have freaked him out, because it showed a picture of Sam Jackson as, <laughs> as Mace Windu. As Mace Windu. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It's okay. funny, like, in different uh, countries, and they showed that, they have a different list of yeah. things. Did you ever see those? Yeah. It was pretty cool. I've seen the list. The Russo brothers, to me, are the best thing that's happened to Marvel. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the first Iron Man. Yeah. It might be it one, a perfect really movie for me. Um, Avengers, I love. I love, actually love, I, I love them all, but the action in Winter Soldier and in this is the best. That stair scene? Yeah. Was really good, you it's know? It's the best superhero action, because they think out just all the possibilities, and everybody's doing something in that battle, except Vision. Vision, he seems to be hovering over the battle a lot, and then every once in a while he'll do something, but everybody else mm. seems to be doing stuff. So, the only one they could pair him with was Scarlet Witch. And Pretty much. I think he could beat anyone else. He can. He totally can. That's why you only see him every once in a while. Like, I love whenever uh, Spider-Man is just riding War Machine. He has him webbed and he's just riding behind him, you know? <laughs> it's just such cool stuff. So visionary. I love... The Spider-Man they had in this, they said the best Spider-Man they've ever had. It's absolutely like, I think he is. And, like, the quips he has while fighting were so yeah. good. I love the things he was saying and how he was, like... It was, like, serious, but not serious, too. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he had such good... Uh, it was pretty perfect. I mean, I felt like Andrew Garfield was maybe a little too pretty. He, you know, I mean, he's a, he was really fun. He was really energetic, and you could tell he appreciated the role, but I just can't see that guy as, like, an unpopular kid. Mm-hmm. And Tobey Maguire just always seemed a little too old, mm-hmm. you know? He was still good, too, though. Yeah. Nothing really beats that Danny Elfman score from the first Spider-Man trilogy. That was good. But I'm excited for Tom Holland. I'm excited for Homecoming because we now know that you know Tony Stark's going to be in it, and uh, and Aunt May, and Aunt May, and the villain's going to be Vulture. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Do you know who he's played by? No, I didn't know he was in the movie. Do you want to know who he's played by? Oh no, is it good? Yeah, Vin Diesel. No. <laughs> um, is he bald? He's played Batman. He played Batman. Mm-hmm. George Clooney. No. Val Kilmer? No. Not Val Kilmer? No. Michael Keaton then? Michael Keaton. Shit. How old is he? He's older. He could be Vulture. Yeah, I suppose so. I think it's funny that he played Birdman in that Birdman movie and now he's Vulture. Oh, shit. Yeah. Anyway. All right. You got anything else? It should have been Val Kilmer. It should have been Val Kilmer. <laughs> he's a little heavier to be aerodynamic <laughs> these days. Oh, uh, okay. It'd be neat with Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton does a good job. He does. A lot of people didn't think he's going to be a good Batman. No, he was because he, he was, was Mr. Mom. He was Mr. Mom, and yeah, I mean, he he, he rocked it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so that was Screen Junkies Honest Trailer. Okay. All right, so poll for this uh, Honest Trailer. We're gonna go. We're gonna go hard, guys. We're gonna make a civil war of the blind wave wave riders. What was your favorite movie? 
Civil War or BVS? Of those two, which one do you prefer? Go to blindwave.net. Nope, don't do that. Go to uh, patreon.com slash blindwave. You can enter that poll and many more. You can find out all about all that good stuff. And early access, too. We do that, too. And that's going to be everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Down in the descriptions, all the links to our social media. Blindwave.net has... Star. And shirts. Those two. And we'll see you guys next time. I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. Aaron. Hmm. Button.